Alright, so I'm sitting here. Uh, I'm going to draw out what I want to do uh, with the backyard this year um, and kind of figure out what I want to where I want to put things. So as you see I actually got me a piece of paper and I drew out where the house was and then where the fence is and of course the deck. So now I've got to figure out where I want to put what plants. Um, I talked about how I want to put down here and all the way up to here rows of mulch and some plants, some bushes along the row, uh, along the fence and that will keep the Bermuda grass from growing out of the fence and then I was going to mulch from here all the way back um, and then put in plants in here here's a pear tree and a pear tree on this side is the same thing apple tree apple tree. So that's the idea there. And you know you want to get uh, more and more specific as you go. Um, you'll want to eventually put in rows and maybe write in what plants you're putting where. That way um, you kind of know exactly what you're doing. Um, at this point I'm not sure what kind of bushes I want to put in here. Maybe some azaleas. Um, something that's going to grow together and uh, fill in that area. Um, I'm thinking about right here putting in some strawberries. Right. So maybe along the back the back wall maybe some grapes. And I've heard that um, the only thing that really grows back here are the muscadines so that's probably what I'm going to put along the fence in the back. Um, down in the ditch, in the back, underneath the fence, or at the base of the fence. And I might do that on both sides. And then you just kind of figure out where you're going to place things. You know, again, probably some more azaleas here, and maybe one right in here. Um, and then I'm going to mulch or do something in here to keep the grass in. Right here's the patio, the concrete patio outside the back door. And right there's the air condition. So you can see you just keep adding to it, um, figuring out where you want to put what. And that's kind of the idea, and you just keep drawing it out that way. Um, Alright, one of the things you might want to do when you're making your little map as to where you're going to put all your stuff is to actually sit here and count how wide your, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 18, 19, 20, 21, so about 20 feet. <clears throat> Count how wide, you know, your spaces are. So as you can see, I went back and <clears throat> added some more stuff. Um, just went crazy as to what I want to do and where I want to put things. Um, see. Here, you know, it's the playground with all the toys. Um, here I thought I might put a little pot with uh, some herbs or um, something, uh, well spinach maybe, uh, could be just about anything, but I might even think about putting a, um, a tree there. I'm looking at maybe regrowing some uh, avoc an avocado tree and that has to be brought in every winter so that might be a good spot for that in a pot. Right in here is the hanging tomato plant that um, I got one of those hanging tomatoes upside down tomatoes uh, do hickeys so I'm going to maybe try to uh, hang that right at the corner of the deck um, then I've got three grow boxes that we found this year so I might put um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put herbs in those um, I could put spinach in there as well 
and then of course you know I, I, I gotta do my tomatoes so I think those are gonna be at the top of the hill right behind the trees and then the bush beans are gonna be around there somewhere uh, maybe in front of the trees or between the trees somewhere and of course our broccoli I want to start those as soon as possible um, the beginning of February right now is the middle of January so I got a couple more weeks uh, to plan out how I'm gonna do those and of course I was out there measuring things so I got a light measurement it's about 20 60 feet all the way across the yard and uh, the deck is 20 feet wide and it's right in the middle of the yard so I got about 20 feet on each side so that will help me plan as to how many bags of soil I'm going to need and basically this gives me an idea as to what I'm going to be doing so uh, keep an eye out and uh, watch the feed